Hello guys, welcome to my channel and great SolarWinds and GNS3 integration course. So in previous lesson, we added our devices to the SolarWinds NPM and I showed you how we can monitor them, how you can customize the page. If you haven't seen my previous lesson, I recommend you to go back and see my previous lesson. And in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how you can work on SolarWinds map in your monitoring server. So we'll go to our SolarWinds NPM and here is we want to actually create the map based on devices here that we have in all nodes and we want to actually monitor them here by creating a map. So SolarWinds map will give you the great ability to see your all devices at a glance. So first off we want to go to the start menu and here we'll go to SolarWinds folder and here we can see Network Atlas. So first off, you need to log into your SolarWinds Atlas application. So before we start, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, like the video to get every new update almost every day. And here we'll type the exact credential that you use to connect to our SolarWinds NPM software here. So that means Orion Network Atlas, it uses the exact password that you use to log into your Orion Web Console. So that's great. And here it tells you you can create network map, wireless heat map, and the rest of them. So we'll close out of this. And these are the devices as you can see. And here you can group them based on node ID, city if you choose the city on your page customization and machine type or things like that so let's say so let's say vendor here and here we'll simply click on the device and we'll drag it here and we'll bring r2 and of course our switch and our microtik and again our solar means server So first off, we need actually to change the shape here. We'll right click on a rotor one and we'll say select graph. And here, for example, we'll use Cisco icon. And I'm going to use, for example, this one. And here it tells you the shape of the device in a specific status. For example, for up, it's like this. Warning like this. Down is like this. And the rest of them. And we'll click on okay and we'll try to make it smaller and for example for this one again we'll use again this one and for the switch We'll scroll down here to select, for example, this switch, which is multi-layer switch. And here for microtech, So that's great. And if you want to edit the label, simply we'll click on the label and we'll say properties. Here you can change the name. And here, for example, you can change the color of the text color here. And you can say center, left or right. And here you can add the hyperlink. So that's great. And again, we can right click, we'll say And here we can use the border weight, let's say five. So that's great. And of course you can change this one. And here you can change the font actually, let's say bold and 
the size font and here let's say for example this time this color so very easy so let's change the color so great this is how we can change the font and the color of the labels of your devices and here we have the option to right click and change the background image let's say for example africa or whatever for example network atlas asia or things like that again for example let's scroll down this one so that's great of course you can bring your google map uh, picture here or whatever map that you have for your production network and lastly we we'll right click and we'll say connect to layer 2 or 3 or layer 2 or layer 3 only so as you can see these two routers are layer 3 and of course this micro -tick. so that's great let's connect solar winds to layer 3 and of course the switch to the layer 3 so that's great so that's great so because the lab is start since around 5 or 10 minutes to record this lesson for you in your production environment I'm sure that you can easily add these two devices as a layer 3 devices so and that means in your lab you should wait at least one hour to actually gather the information for these devices in your solar winds and then here in your map you can right click and say for example layer 2 or layer 3 or whatever that you like so let's say that these two devices connected together and here we can right click we'll say properties here we can change the metrics here CPU load for example or for example we can and select uh, packet loss or things like that and here we have the hyperlink you can use for example the IP address of that device when that device goes down you will see on the map warning for that specific IP address and here you can see the appearance here you can select the shape of the device and the LED status here and this is the details so we'll close out of this window and we'll save this one as a map pro or whatever and now is the time to bring this map to our solar winds right here so we'll go up here by selecting edit and this is the map pro as you can see and we'll click on submit And here as you can see the map is not fit on the map widget again we'll click on edit and we'll scroll down here let's say 50% for the zoom we'll select 50% and again we'll click on submit so that's great we can make it bigger something like 70% and here we can unselect show network at last download link so let me show you here we have the Atlas link. So here it tells you you can download the Atlas application and you can install it on another Windows server or your Windows desktop and you can manage uh, SolarWinds map from your client. So uh, we don't want uh, this link anymore because we have it in our server. We have Atlas map here in our server and we'll click on show and we are select show network at last a download link to make the map much better so that's great so again of course we can say for example 80 percent or 85 to make it better and here we can change the name of label of the map let's say map pro or map for example your branch office your your main office or whatever you can create multiple maps as you like for example five ten hundreds or whatever but if you don't like them please do not store them here just 
select the map that you would like to use it in your Orion server because it may overload your server resources. So, and uh, as you can see now, we have the map here. Of course, in your production environment, you can use a great map with the great background. For example, always I'm trying to use my uh, Google map. And here you can add your background for your data center. And here by uh, moving the cursor over the devices, you can see them right here. Now, of course, we cannot see our tool because we wanna actually, let's say, cancel submit again and let's change the background for example we'll say this one oops it's much bigger so i, I think this one is much better and we'll do a refresh So to bring our R2, we should make it smaller. So let's say 50, let's say 65. Here how you can fit the devices on your map. So of course you can say for example 70 to make it much bigger. So that's great. So this is how you can create a map on your Orion network atlas here you can use several maps for example a map for your wireless a map for your routers a map for virtualization servers or you can combine the map for your all devices if you have a small network if you have a massive network or let's say medium-sized network you cannot bring all the devices together in some cases you can see it's not a good map if you bring all the devices so i highly recommend you that you bring your map based on your devices